Hey everyone, Dr. H here with Truth Cairo. I'm here to talk to you about uh, sensory processing disorder or SPD. Now, living with sensory processing disorder can be overwhelming and isolating experience for both the kids and their families. Um, SPD affects about 80% 80, 80 of kids who were born by C-section, uh, making it a surprisingly common condition, but often goes unrecognized and misunderstood. Um, for these kids with sensory processing disorder, everyday experience like going to school, playing with friends, um, and just going between activities or even getting a dress or brushing their teeth, it is a constant struggle. Why? Because of their unique, uh, their nervous system unique way of perceiving and responding to these sensory information. So what is it? What's SPD? Um, it's a condition that affects how children perceive and respond to sensory information from the environment. Uh, kids with SPD may struggle with processing information from one or more senses, and they may experience a range of sensory processing disorder symptoms, and the, uh, which can be categorized into three, um, three main patterns that we see here. And the first pattern is hypersensitivity, which is over responsiveness. You know, hypersensitive kids uh, can be easily overwhelmed uh, by sensory input, like, you know, loud noises, bright lights, and certain textures. They will act, they will uh, react very strongly to a minor stimuli, like literally just covering their ears when the vacuum cleaner is on. Then you have hypo sensitivity, which is under responsiveness. Some kids with SPD may be under responsive to sensory information, which means that they might have some high tolerance for pain or lack of awareness for their surrounding. Uh, they may not respond to their name when their name is called. It may seem a little clumsy and uncoordinated. And then you have the third pattern, which is sensory seeking. Uh, some kids with SPD actively seeking out um, uh, sensory experiences, craving intense or repetitive uh, stimulation. They may engage in behaviors like spinning, jumping, or literally crashing into objects, which often to the point of putting themselves at risk. Now the role of the nervous system in sensory processing is to truly understand um, how the intricate uh, parts of the nervous system works um, and how imbalances can lead uh, to the challenges faced by kids with SPD. And their nervous system, think of it as the command center, the control center, uh, respons responsible for receiving, interpreting, and responding to sensory information from the environment. In typically developing kids, this process occurs, occurs very, very seamlessly, now, allowing them to navigate the world around them with ease. However, now when when uh, the nervous system is not functioning optimally, you know, like the case with kids with SPD, uh, sensory processing becomes very uh, disrupted leading to various challenges and symptoms associated with the disorder like sensory overload. Now there are some key factors that can contribute to the development of SPD and there are three factors here. One is prenatal stress and maternal health. You know maternal stress during pregnancy can have a huge impact on fetal development, uh, brain, fetal brain development. Um, potentially setting the stage for neurological imbalances that may later manifest as problems with sensory input. And then the second thing is birth trauma and interventions. Complications during labor and delivery, such as prolonged labor, forceps or vacuum extraction or C-section can cause physical and neurological stress to the infant. Increases the risk of subluxation and dysautonomia. Now the third one is early life stresses and environmental factors. Exposure to toxins, nutrition, nutritional de deficiencies, and emotional uh, or emotional stress um, in the early years of life can further compromise a kid's neurological development and exacerbate sensory processing difficulties. Parents, just remember this. You are not alone in this. By addressing the root cause of your kids' um, the challenge, you can unlock their full potential and thrive. So if you, if you or someone you know um, experiencing some of these symptoms that we just talked about, please 
to pick up the phone and call and call our number so we can get them the help they need.